What's going on, family? Yeah. Back with another one. Y'all know where we at, man. Got something for you. It's pretty big. Pretty big. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, we're back at Illinois Motors, and yeah, yeah, man, I got something pretty big for you guys, man. Hey, look, before we, I even expose this thing to you guys, guys make sure y'all go smash that like button. Make sure you go hit that subscribe button. Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel so you can see all the new stuff that's coming. Most importantly, man, make sure you go hit that like button. Remember what we talked about, man, like buttons matter. And if you haven't already, go down in the comments, throw those three 100s, hashtag LBM. Listen, man, y'all know who we at. Y'all know who we with. Oh God. What's up? Oh God. What's up? And like I mentioned, man, we got something big for you guys. Sheesh. I don't remember the last time I've seen one. <sighs> it's been a really long time. Because and these have actually elevated to collector status. Yes. As most things have. Some things unfairly, but I think this might be an exception. Man. I can't remember the last time I've seen an SUT, which is the, I think, sport utility truck. Yes. That's the name of the... And what does he mean by that? Why, why is he talking about eight Hummers being so not seen, you know? What, what what's so rare it's a truck it's a truck sort of <laughs> let me give y'all a quick wipe oh look at this so sort of if you're probably so we should probably start with how to open this <laughs> yeah. because this has got this whole system here like this wheel so you can't open this with the wheel here it's actually really simple but i forgot how to do it so i had to embarrassingly say hey phil <laughs> you know you, you've got all the experience with opening hummers how do you do this and he did it in like 0.3 oh seconds so, h2 guys h2 so there's like a little you want to zoom in on this thing there's a little thing there you basically just pop it out it's simple as and then this is the part i had to ask for help on literally <laughs> that's it are you serious and then it just swings on out all the way and honestly, I think this thing looks kind of cool if it didn't have a tire. I would agree with it you. It looks that super little bed funky. is crazy. It and gives me there's avalanche fit vibes. Pretty much, I'm pretty sure they're on the same platform. I yeah. wouldn't be surprised. This thing is so clean. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Those are the original formats there, and you know that's not really the that big of a deal. But this drain. Wow. Yeah. That this this is just strange. I remember racing or thinking these things were fast when these things have like a zero to 60 in like 10 seconds yeah. they're just so heavy and underpowered yes but that's not what you're buying it to go fast no but i remember racing them in midnight club three. Oh yeah and this video one games. was the coolest one yeah. this is the coolest one i remember that game yeah i think i still had that game yeah yeah oh. yeah oh but my goodness this is this is just really cool because I start, I start to kind of appreciate it a little bit more when I see it. I, this is so unique. This whole thing is just unique. I understand why they're going up in value. So I'll tell you guys, listen, not only is it very unique, you, I don't know if y'all heard that, how it closed super, 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 super soft. And then you just kind of, oops, not hard enough. There you go. And then put the pin in, in and you're in business. That's it. So super simple. As you've seen from the walk around, this thing is impeccably clean. Like ridiculously clean, right? There's a good reason for that. 
Tell them the good reason. The good reason <laughs> is this thing only has, and I have to remember the number again. Oh, God. Because it's so low, I have to get it right. Okay, which Dang, keys? She's clean. Which keys? Which keys? Not those keys. Super, super clean, guys. Yelling at me for the lights. <laughs> and we'll just go ahead and start it because we might as well. Oh, wow. So it's got screens in the back and a headrest. Oh, God, these seats look untouched in the rear. They look brand new. 2,573 miles. That's it. That is bananas. Bose system. So the All color of, of this leather is called wheat. Wheat. Wheat leather. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all see this? That is like the dopest thing in the 2000s. Ugh. <laughs> Goodness, wheat leather sunroof, extremely clean. And I, who do I know? One show, Mr. IC Envy. Hey man, you said you wanted a Hummer, you said you wanted an H2. I want you to know this is not a slouch, she is extremely clean. The seats are comfortable. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. These are literally untouched. I don't know if they set a magazine or anything on this passenger seat. This car is just. Perfect. That's the <laughs> only description. The only thing that's actually not stock are the wheels. They look stock. They do. But it they feel they're very great. tasteful. And they're actually period correct wheels for they're sure. tasteful um it's impossible as much as we actually pondered the idea of putting stock hummer wheels on it we couldn't find any that, that were not fifth wheel spares i'll be honest with you i will keep what's on here honestly. i agree yeah, I, I think, think they're just absolutely perfect. gorgeous yeah look at this i think they look perfect to your point they look perfect i think they fit the car nicely and period correct you would think that they you could have purchased this car with those wheels on it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So, like a dealer upgrade or like something. Like a dealer upgrade. Yeah. God, there's not even a scratch on the sun. This thing is so clean. It's wild. I don't think I'm ever going to see one this nice again. After this, it's over. <laughs> People are going to use these. <laughs> Pretty much and, it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this thing is... For me personally, too, I like the truck because it's this whole device is stupid. I'll turn it off, okay? Yeah, sure. I think to your point, I I would prefer the truck over this, the regular Hummer. I like the wheels. I think they're very, very nice. Yeah, for sure. Um, I just I would think prefer the whole concept of this thing is dumb, which is like, it's cool, though. <laughs> it's everything about it. There's like a style to everything about this. And yes. Like, for example, my favorite feature of the Hummer H2 is these grab handles. Yes. This, like, for most people who don't know, this is modeled after the Hummer H1. Right. These are for hooking onto the hood um, via helicopter drops. Oh, I had no idea. Yeah, when they're dropping these with parachutes and from like a helicopter, like an aerial drop. I had no there's idea. There's like these real metal yeah. grab handles that are yeah. an integral part of the chassis yeah. on the H1. This is just plastic in here for show, but it's just the fact that they're... It's probably good for the bringing the hood up. Yeah, that, that's, that's, it. that's what it's actually used for <laughs> yeah, with this one. And it, this one, it's as simple as pulling these on the other side. You want to do the other one? Yep. Just pulls up easy. Got it? Yep. And then... Here you go. Super, super clean. I mean, what can you expect? It, it should be clean, right? Yeah. 2,600 miles. 320 horsepower. Oh, my God. Such, <laughs> such an underrated. For all his weight, is that's such a horrible deal. They, but, they you didn't know, fit the LS version of the engine in here. It's a Vortec. So, so most of the guys, I've, I've ran across a few people that have had these in my lifetime, right? Mm -hmm. And one thing I thought was really cool, what Hummer used to do, they had these events, Hummer events, where they took them out and they got to crawl these things on rocks and do all this these Hummer events literally happened, if I'm not mistaken, in Wisconsin. So I used to go out and crawl these things, man, and up mountains, up hills, over rocks, and all this other stuff, just to give the owners 
an opportunity to people that didn't do this on a regular basis, an opportunity to go and experience exactly what the truck could do. So that was always super, super cool to me. <laughs> I always wish I could have gone out and did something like that. But exactly. Me this too. thing is nice. The oh nicest I've seen ever. Without a doubt. I remember being at an uh, auto show when I was like a kid and they didn't have these out yet. But like, I just can imagine that this is what it would be like brand new. Yeah. Because this is the level of. To your point. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. Yeah. Without a doubt. And it's immaculately clean. So it's, you really, there's nothing. God, the handles pull so nicely. It's a new vehicle, guys. Super, super clean. The seats are incredibly, they're soft. They are really, really soft. And these screens are cool too. They, yeah. they do turn on and function. Everything functions. I think the car needs to be on for them to turn on. But they yeah, they came on, on when you when you turned the engine on. Oh, they really? came on. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, man. Does it back this back glass come down? I think it might. I believe it may. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll learn something today. Oh, uh, this thing folds down. Oh, it folds down. Yeah, this folds down. Got it. So if you that. see, this folds down and it gives you more room in the back. Sweet. Yeah. Wow. Looks like this flips up or something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is actually really nice, man. Yeah, this is cool. This is such a cool vehicle, man. This is like the most useless bed in the history <laughs> of really quote unquote trucks. This is like but I don't ice chest, like, like a couple of chairs. Yep, maybe. This is this is not hauling lumber. This is not like Avalanche. Like yeah. you know how Avalanche gave you the option to fold that in and get mm -hmm. more room in the back. I think this it's on the same chassis, so it gives you that same option. That's the thing. It's like you're not really buying one of these as a utility anymore. No. Like I said, these nah. have just gone to collector status. And the thing is about this is like, especially this one, it's like, it's the idea that something so childishly stupid <laughs> could exist. Honestly, man, I would daily this thing. Yeah, absolutely. I really would daily and this And I thing. believe, and, and, and I could be wrong about this, but we had a 2008 or 2009 Glacier blue like special edition that yeah, was here yeah I missed that one yeah because it sold in like two days someone came and got it this is why i try to put these things up so you can <laughs> see them quickly they go so fast man i have no doubt that we'll probably get a ton of interest in this at least immediately um the reality of the situation though is we had that uh we had that blue one and it sold really fast but the most interesting thing to me <laughs> another was, feature that you probably will like guys if you at this vehicle, it is police trackable. <laughs> Says it right there. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Look at that. The things you know, you find, right? Yep. So Sheesh. aftermarket uh, security systems were common for these. They were common. Back in the day, they were getting stolen, but not so much anymore. No. It's just not the not no. thing to steal. Everyone's stealing Dodges. They want Dodges now. Yeah, they want the Chargers, Challengers. All I like that. this thing. I, I really do like this. So, uh, so that Glacier Blue, yeah, that car I had to do a little bit of digging on because it didn't have a window sticker. I'm pretty sure all of these came fully loaded until 2008 or 2009 with but the they economic options. recession because they were trying to get them out the door cheaper because more people would buy them. But the problem is, is in 09, no one's worried about being able to afford a Hummer. They're worried about being able to provide food for yeah. their family. Try to keep their house. Exactly. That was big All thing. those, uh, the variable loans and the inflated. Um, oh, yeah. Um, buried people. Interest rating buried a lot of people. Mm -hmm. I wanted to buy. Adjustable and mortgages. That's Nightmare. when they got hit. Nightmare. I well, wanted to buy in, in 09 and backed out of the idea and just started getting comfortable mm -hmm. into what I really wanted. Back, say, let's, let's just wait until the market settles. Yep. And. That's when we ended up started look. That's when we started looking. It took a few years before we actually really started looking. So right. we started looking in fifteen. So all of these, I believe, come standard with air suspension. They come standard with the TVs. Yes. They come standard with a lot of things. And in the 08 and 09 Hummers, I'm pretty sure they came. Well, I just know this for a fact. The mirror that you used to see behind you, the camera, the backup camera, is a screen that slides out of the side. 
Oh wow! It was so cool. It was like oh, I'm wow. like that is probably one of the most like crazy looking back of cameras I've ever seen, just for the style points. Yeah, and um, I give them that. Yeah, <laughs> there is no doubt. screen in this, but that's it was too early for that. Yeah, no car. Nobody was ready for that. No. Yeah, and I think after that they came out with that little mini screen. Exactly. Somebody had the mini screen inside of well, it. Well, later models had the screen. Yeah. The 08. Uh, I think 07, 08, and 09 may, I, I could be, like I said, I could be completely wrong, but our Glacier Blue one, yeah. that one had a screen. Yeah. So Then they came with the all, screen in Dash that yeah. gave it a backup, and now Chevy then graduated to actually having the mirror as a full screen mm -hmm. in a uh, few of the models. So. That's the thing. That new Hummer EV has created a stir because i think it's either done something they want to say they have a hummer again because now it's cool to have a hummer again yeah because the ev and it's shot the prices up or it's the fact that a lot of people are like that's not a real hummer it's a bunch of batteries i want a real hummer this think about it hummer. think it about could be it all that stuff yeah and we don't disagree with any opinion well i mean have, there's because... even people that look at this and say it's not a real humbee right yeah, it's absolutely a hum, right there's always so... gonna be someone that's not it's not a real yeah business. Because the this was the last this because I grew up with this yeah, on my wall. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but this is, exactly to me, what makes a Hummer is if something's pretty stupid. This is beyond stupid. Oh, and man, I love it. how wide it is. It's cool. It's so stupid. It's cool. Yeah, I love how wide it is. I love the I love the height. I love the stance. Yeah, I love how clean it is. This thing could be just one of the truck, one of the. A Jeep and can use it for all kind of things. This this would be it right here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because it's still torquey and honestly, if you want to play with it, you can actually get a little bit more power out of the motor. The Vortex. It's they a take Vortex. A lot. Yeah, you can get a lot. Pro charge this thing, get a little bit something else out of it, and enjoy it. Absolutely. And here's the interesting thing, guys. I don't think this is the only one they have. Oh yeah. I don't know who said it. You might have to help me out. He said, what do you say? Rims real big, cars real big, <laughs> yeah, house man. real big, everything yeah. real big, yeah. something like that. Yeah. I could be wrong on those lyrics. That's, uh, that's Manny Fresh. Manny Fresh? Yeah. Hmm. Big time was the CD. Big time was the song. Got it. Big yeah. Time. Okay. Well, the next summer I would say, I would call it big time. Yeah. This one's the big time. <laughs> Young Shy Beats. Extremely flashy. Oh, yeah. 
This is actually a very desirable color. It's called Pacific Blue. And what is wrong with my lens? Sorry, oh, guys. You're all foggy. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. Better. Better? Yes. Okay. It's called Pacific, Pacific Blue. Blue. Um, and I don't think there's many left in Pacific Blue. This one's got a little bit more Pacific Blue than your average Pacific Blue. It's got paint mask bumpers, extra chrome. This is the most bling arrow hummer you might find. Um, and they got the camera in the tow hook. All the little details I'm, I'm seeing here. So remember how I said I think these come fully loaded? Yeah. I think I might be wrong because this what year has is this, one? The this 06. This is the 06 as well. Yes, they're both 06. And I think that one just might not have the entertainment navigation package. Do you think they added that to this one? I doubt it. It's a stock head unit for sure. Okay. It's not an aftermarket head unit. But I mean, don't get me wrong. That thing is very, very nicely Oh, optioned. for sure. I wouldn't even care if it had it or not. Me either. Honestly, I wouldn't. This is a bling. You got to have a screen. Come on. Yeah. This thing has got the reinforced sidebars with the chrome mm -hmm. chrome lights on the roof rack chrome chromed chrome i hope you like and this is chrome. this the uh was that uh silver yeah it's just like a silver painted and i don't think this is stock like okay. uh, as far as the paint um it could be not sure there's a lot of customization to this and there's not a lot of information yeah. out there about the options and what comes stock, a lot of this is not. Yeah. These and did, I think, come optional chrome, though, for these grab okay. handles. Yeah. Um, and you can see this is actually like a brush bar. Yeah. More than, than that just being a chrome um, yeah. bezel on the front. That's actually a brush bar. Mm -hmm. This thing, good Lord, man. And I'm looking back and forth. I'm trying to show you guys what I'm seeing, but... The chrome at the bottom, bottom of the bumper, and all, like you said, all the painted pieces on here, they went all the way out. I mean, everything from the fender flares, <laughs> like this is plastic flares. Yep. They actually These are paint matched. Molded and paint matched. Well, no, they're paint matched. They're not molded. Yep. Just all the detail mm -hmm. that went into them, whereas like even here, it's weird because it's like notched out right here. Mm -hmm. Two notches where they don't have the notches on this side hope i'm not making you guys dizzy but it's just i'm going through what looks different and i noticed this the notches on here and on here is painted that one is black they painted every bit of plastic on here God, they added the the uh uh, uh rack mm -hmm. roof rack those things i believe heavy. that was factory option for yep. the suvs the roof rack it was and they don't think SUTs. I think you might be You can able still to put them on yeah. SUTs. Yeah. Yeah, they're actually a, they're they're an option for all these Hummers. Yeah. But they were expensive if I'm not mistaken. They were very very expensive. A lot of the options later were pretty expensive. Um but these were just God. yeah. <laughs> Crazy. My favorite thing about this specific this specific Hummer? Yeah. Is the brand of the wheels. Oh, the dubs. <laughs> dub. Dub edition. Yes. Dub, man. Yeah, they're just blingy all the way around. And these yes. are 24s? Uh, something. I think they're 26s. 26s. You're right. Well, Lloyd Banks, didn't he say something like 26s on the Hummer? <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Lee, guys. Look, no fishbowl at all. Superintendent, and oh my God. Oh, yeah. I was lying. My favorite feature is not the paint mashed interior plastics, it's the suede headliner. They paint mashed the interior. Here, we can turn that light off so you're yeah. not ding, 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 ding. Yeah. There you go. They paint mashed the interior. With a blue suede roof. Oh my <laughs> god! And they even suede the window. So if you close the uh, the sunroof cover, it's yeah. a hand slide. It's also suede. 
I made sure to get that on the photos. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this, guys, for real. This was not cheap. Modif it's like well done, super well done. Like there was a lot of thought that went into making this mm -hmm. what it is. It's all paint matched, guys. And this one has forty one thousand miles. It's more of a driver, and it's also very customized. But you got to think forty one thousand miles, and it's an 06. That's actually pretty low. Oh my god, pretty low miles. This is yeah. This yeah. This is nice, man. This is really really nice. Mm -hmm. Like for real, it, it does have the screen, and this is factory. Yep, that's a factory head unit. Wow. Once again, contradicting myself on video with my. Oh yeah, I think they only got. <laughs> it, it, hey later. man, listen, listen. You guys know if you watch any of these videos, right? Tim knows tons about these things. We will never hold him <laughs> for missing one or two little bitty details, especially after he owns them. He owns it. No owns one it. out there owns what? No one. Out there, and hey, listen, I have no negative comments about the information you provide, Tim, because you're on. You're always on, bro. Don't worry about it. Every once in a while, we miss a, miss ones or two. Who's perfect out there? Point out the perfect person. Now point out the liar. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, man, there you go. The perfect guy out there is lying. That's the SUT trying to be organized. All right, want to start it up? Yeah, this is it. He's real big. <laughs> yep bose h2 system yeah factory system 41 guys this is a nice truck and it's super clean for something with forty-one thousand miles but like most of the wear is on the driver the passenger got a little the rear doesn't look like it has hardly any She's super nice, guys. This is one. Just saying. I like the gear shifts on these as well. I do. I, I do, too. They are a little, like, shin seam when you hold them, but I just like the the idea that it's just, like, a big... Yeah, it feels, like, rugged and yeah, rough, yeah. and I like the gear shift on these. Mm -hmm. There's just so much character God. in the interiors. Like, there's a style but that they were going for. Yeah, they, 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 they went there, didn't they? They really did go there. Yeah. It's in the handles as well. Yep. The door handles. I think this is actually a normal handle that you can find found in like other Chevys. Yeah. Is it? I think so. I don't think I've ever seen that in another Chevy. Not that not that quality. You might be right. Because I, I feel like it, it ties I into this. I think I've this. shot so many Hummers now that I'm just like, <laughs> like, like a, it's all melting. It, it all blurs together, man. Yeah. That's when you put all that information in one place. It's just so nice. It really is super nice. And you can hear it's super quiet. Mm -hmm. It runs really nice. I'm looking at the tweeters in here. God, they just did so much. Oh, this must be the light bar. Yep. You see the light bar. They lights up at the top. There. Yep. So Jeez, we have like nice. two. We have juxtaposition and uh, Hummers. Yes. One completely original factory condition H2 SUT. And then we've got dub edition. God. And that blue bleeds all the way. Oh, God, this left is so soft. That blue bleeds back here. It has a screens in the back. It comes with the headphones back here. There's and an extra when seat you back don't there. have the, the uh, SUT, option mm -hmm. you get the third row option in the back i think it's one seat back there that's is it. it a jump seat it's yeah one little seat. seat yep it's so dark in there it's so dark man. it's because the tents are darker than my future hang on one second and the lights don't come on automatically back here so there you go yeah there is one seat back there one seat back there this thing is super super nice though it's clean. It's a good Super car. Super clean. <sighs> Solid as a rock. So if you own a strip club, strip club in Atlanta, <laughs> I got you. No, Sheesh. Yes. 
Yeah, you can pull up real big in this, man. <laughs> Blinging hard. So if you want to bling hard and hit the streets, or you just want to be low key and have a nice little SUV, uh, well, big SUV, big one, big one. And we have another Hummer coming. Wow, are you Allegedly. serious? Yeah, I was told earlier that we have one more coming. Wow, same year? I have no idea. I'm we'll not going to say, yeah, yeah, totally, same year, same option. Yeah, no, yeah, we don't want to, you know, put Tim in that situation. No, right? never. Man, pick one, guys, right? Illinois Motors, <laughs> come through. Illinois pick one. Hummers. Huh? Illinois Hummers. I Illinois Hummers. Yeah. <laughs> we shifted from <laughs> Illinois Vipers to Illinois Hummers. Yeah, we're, I don't know, we're, man, we're, Illinois, we're, we're you guys have been. Illinois Cobras. Illinois Cobras. Illinois GP 500s, well, just across the board, Illinois Mustangs, yeah. so. Illinois horses. <laughs> Illinois, Illinois Stallions, baby. They got a whole fleet of, uh, fleet of them. Listen, man, you can't go wrong, man, at Illinois Motors. So you come here, you can't find what you're looking for. You're not really looking for anything, honestly. It's all here, bro. It is all here. Listen, man. Come on, man. If you're not, you, you, you come here, you can't find what you're looking for. You really don't want anything. Period. It's just what it is, man. Come on, man. These guys don't do it the average around here, man. They don't do normal things around here. Why is that, man? Because they were designed from greatness, just like you were designed from greatness. Look at all this greatness in the room, guys. Because you were designed from greatness, guys, you have the right, the authority, the responsibility to never be average. So, guys. Illinois Motors. <laughs> Don't be average. Yeah.